A veggie Thanksgiving. Hey y'all, I'm Coco. And I'm Lala. We have amazing cauliflower mac and cheese, sauteed greens, and vegan cornbread. That will complete any Thanksgiving meal. I'm so excited. <laughs> Health market, y'all. Woo -woo. Let's see what we can find. Y'all know that amazing song. Cobble greens and cornbread. hy V has all these amazing dried whole chilies. We are going to put this in the green. Okay, so this is where the magic happens. You got to get the unsweetened applesauce. Can't forget it. Okay guys, so you can use any type of milk, uh, almond, soy, whatever, but today we're going to use oat milk. So many to choose from, but I think I am going to go with the sharp cheddar for the cauliflower mac and cheese. So for a vegan version, you could use a dairy-free mozzarella, if I follow your heart, and a uh, cheddar style shreds. By day. So you can't have uh, Thanksgiving without cranberry sauce. Okay guys, so we are back. We found this in the store. This is called a uh, Cabbage Patch Cauliflower. Um, so check your, your high bee uh, produce section and see if you can find this. I love it. Um, and so this is what it looks like after you cut off all the rest of it. This cauliflower is going to be used uh, to make vegetarian mac and cheese. Now, a lot of people were thinking, okay, so she must be using this for the sauce. Uh-uh-uh. It's no. gonna take the place of the noodle, right? You, you really want pieces like, okay, like this. Y'all can see this. Oh, okay, nice, nice you size. Pieces, kinda wanna get the greens a little, a little rinsed off. Not, you wanna rinse them off, you wanna clean them. So I kinda rolled these up, guys. It's not perfect, but you know, I roll them up, making ribbons, but so that they're not too long and they kinda are a little bit bite size. So after it's all cut up, we're gonna put this in a pot. Okay, so while you put that in a pot, I've cut up some onions and I've cut up some tomatoes for the greens. Um, and I've got some um, amazing, dried chilies here. Just to give the, the greens a little bit of a bite. I'm chopping that up while you get your cauliflower ready to boil. So we're gonna get some water in there, you guys. And this only cooks for five minutes. Okay. Um, it's all about you know trying to keep the integrity of that veggie, make sure you're not um, cooking all the minerals and the nutrients and the vitamins out of it. So we're just gonna add some water you to add this. add anything like salt or anything at all? No, cause you know what, the secret to this cauliflower mac and cheese is all in the sauce. Now we are here to make the sauce for that cauliflower mac and cheese. I have heavy cream. Now we wanna wait until that heats up. Once the heavy cream is uh, heated up, you're gonna add the cream cheese and then you're just gonna whisk that through. So you also wanna add in some Dijon mustard. So I'm gonna squeeze in some Dijon mustard. We're gonna add in a little bit of seasonings. I did salt, pepper, and some garlic seasoning in there. That is what is in here. I'm gonna start adding in my sharp cheddar. And okay. that, again, that's very important. So we're just gonna add that right in there. I'm supposed to add in a cup and a half. Okay. And this is gonna melt down to an amazing cheese sauce that we are going to pour over the cauliflower. Done that fast. Done that wow, fast. Wow, it looks like cheese sauce, people. We're gonna drain it. So I'm about to lay down some paper towels and I'm going to pat this dry, okay? I really wanna get as much, as much moisture and water mm -hmm. out of there as possible. Okay. You're gonna wanna scrape the cheese sauce, okay, over your cauliflower. And so the leftover cheese, you can actually throw a little bit on top. You want to sprinkle a little bit more cheese on top. You're done just like that. We're gonna take that to the oven, make sure it's on 375. Y'all, so Lala is about to whip up some amazing vegan cornbread. We love stuff quick. Yes. Quick and easy. Most people have applesauce already sitting in the house. Mm -hmm. And so we've got amazing unsweetened high bee um, applesauce, yum yum. And then we've got high bee corn muffin mix putting the corn muffin in here. I already put like four tablespoons of butter just to give it a little bit more flavor. 
that was already kind of melted at the bottom. Two thirds cup of um, my favorite oat milk. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna pour oh, that yeah. in here. Oh yeah! <laughs> about to show you how to do that make sure that your skillet is on hot add a little bit of, uh, of your favorite oil to the pan about a teaspoon of garlic and then we're gonna add in some onion some onions I add feel like at this point in time I, I would add in my chili yes so we're, we're gonna add yes. in the chilies now this is something that we found at Hy-Vee and we're super super excited yes. about it this is called this is the better than bouillon yeah so I'm using about a teaspoon. Okay. Everything's looking good. It has really good coloration. You guys want that caramelized brown color. Now we're ready for the greens. Now here's the thing. Make sure, make sure that you guys are not overcooking these greens. It's really important yeah. that there's still some vibrancy yes. left in this color. Vibrancy. Okay. It might look like a lot at first, but keep in mind, um, yeah. this does cook down. I'm gonna add in a little bit of garlic salt. We're gonna add a little bit of onion powder. Okay. Add in your tomatoes for that um, sweetness and the um, acidity. Oh, it looks so yummy. Okay, so last thing is the liquid amino acids. Now, tell me what that tastes like because... It kind of tastes like a little bit like a soy sauce, but it's better for you. And for this, because we've already added um, the bouillon, we probably just want a little bit of this. Very flavorful. flavorful, colorful. Yes. Hopefully you guys are going to enjoy these amazing foods as much as we did making them. We yes. can't wait to dig in. We have been smelling this goodness all day. Now it's time to dig in there. Oh man, okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. Too late. Really good. Mm -hmm. My gosh. We wanna give thanks <laughs> to everybody who's been watching our shows on hstv.com, yeah, vegan and veggie Avengers. Thank you guys so much. Make sure you guys stay tuned for more recipes yes. on vegan and veggie Avengers on hstv.com. Enjoy your family. Enjoy your friends. All right, y'all. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving.